In a quiet suburban town, nestled behind a white picket fence, lived a cannabis grower named Jake. He had spent years perfecting his craft, cultivating an array of potent strains that were the envy of his fellow enthusiasts. But little did he know that his latest experiment would unleash a terrifying chain of events. One fateful evening, as the full moon cast an eerie glow over Jake's grow room, he carefully harvested a batch of his newest creation, the dreadful delight strain. Its pungent aroma filled the air, tinged with a hint of excitement and trepidation. With a twinkle in his eyes, Jake rolled a joint from his freshly trimmed buds. The first puff unleashed a wave of relaxation, followed by an unexpected burst of comedy. Man, this stuff is like laughter in a nug, Jake chuckled to himself, the room seeming to echo with mirth. Unbeknownst to Jake, his loyal companion, Buster the Beagle, watched from the corner of the room, his eyes fixed on the television. The vibrant colors and flickering images seemed to come alive, captivating Buster's attention in an unsettling manner. As the night grew darker, the strains of the dreadful delight worked their magic, blurring the line between reality and hallucination. Jake's laughter intensified, merging with the eerie silence of the room. Suddenly, the television crackled to life, emitting an otherworldly glow. Buster's eyes widened as he heard a voice emanating from the screen, addressing him directly. Hey Buster, you're a smart dog, aren't you? Tired of fetching sticks and playing catch? How about we have some real fun? The voice hissed, laced with a sinister undertone. Buster's tail wagged nervously as he watched the animated characters on the screen, their grins growing wider and more malevolent with each passing second. You see, Buster, your master doesn't appreciate you enough. He's been neglecting you. But I can give you the attention you deserve, the voice continued, its tone dripping with deceit. Terrified but intrigued, Buster's ears perked up. His loyalty to Jake wavered for a moment as the allure of adventure and companionship tempted him. Meanwhile, Jake, still under the influence of the dreadful delight, sat on the couch, oblivious to the sinister plot that was unfolding before his very eyes. What's that, Buster? You want to go for a walk? But it's so late, Jake mumbled, his words slurring together in a haze of confusion. But Buster, now fully convinced of the television's promises, barked excitedly and led Jake out into the moonlit night. Their footsteps echoed through the empty streets as they embarked on an ominous journey. As they ventured deeper into the darkness, Jake's mind began to clear his senses sharpening. He glanced down at Buster, his loyal companion, and noticed a malicious glint in the dog's eyes. Buster, what's gotten into you, buddy? You're acting strange, Jake said, his voice tinged with concern. But Buster remained silent, his gaze fixed on a foreboding figure that emerged from the shadows, a grotesque, twisted version of Jake himself, with glowing red eyes and a wicked grin. Jake, Jake, you thought you could outsmart me, you thought you could create a strain that brings laughter and joy without consequences. The doppelganger sneered, its voice a chilling echo of Jake's own. Fear gripped Jake's heart as he realized the horrors he had unwittingly unleashed. The laughter that once filled his lungs now turned into a gut-wrenching scream. What? What are you? Jake stammered, his voice trembling. The doppelganger chuckled, its voice laced with an unholy delight. I am the embodiment of your own fears, Jake, the dark side of your creation, the dreadful delight, and now I am here to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. As the night wore on, the town became a stage for twisted comedy and unimaginable terror. Jake and his malevolent doppelganger engaged in a surreal dance of deceit and survival, their laughter mingling with the cries of anguish and the howling wind. In a final act of desperation, Jake's mind cleared just enough for him to remember his stash of potent herb. With a trembling hand, he reached into his pocket and pulled out a joint, lighting it with a flickering flame. The pungent smoke filled the air, mingling with the suffocating tension. In a dramatic turn of events, the dreadful delight strain, now a weapon of self-defense, engulfed Jake's senses, granting him a newfound clarity and determination. With a defiant smile, Jake faced his doppelganger, the embodiment of his darkest fears. You may be a twisted reflection of me, but I am the one in control. I will not be consumed by my own creation. A battle of wits ensued, each step fraught with danger and comedy. Laughter and screams echoed through the night, as if the very fabric of reality teetered on the edge of madness. 
and just when it seemed that all hope was lost, Jake, fueled by a newfound resilience, managed to trap his doppelganger in a burst of smoke and mirrors, dissipating its malevolent presence. As the sun rose on the horizon, the twisted comedy of that dreadful night faded into a memory, etched into the minds of those who witnessed it. Jake, now forever changed, vowed never to underestimate the power of his creations again. From that day forward, the dreadful delight strain was locked away, its potency too great a risk to unleash upon the world. And Buster, forever loyal, remained by Jake's side, their bond stronger than ever, a reminder of the darkness they had faced together. And so, the tale of Jake and his misadventure served as a warning, a cautionary tale to all those who dare to tamper with forces beyond their understanding. For in the realm of cannabis, where laughter and horror dance hand in hand, the line between comedy and terror can be disturbingly thin.